Hello light workers, you gorgeous people. Welcome to Monday. Today I'm talking about fate and destiny. And I'm going to tell you a little story. A woman was talking to a guru and she said to him, how is it? How is it that I was fated to be a woman in this culture and to suffer? And the guru said to her, to be born as a woman, that's your fate. However, how you choose to deal with it is your destiny. I'm going to explain what I mean on the other side. So I was talking to the emissaries about where we are, about the process that we're in, etc. And they were talking and they were saying, this is a time of extreme change. There are really, really big shifts happening, energetic shifts. And obviously, so th this is where the conversation went, because I asked a really strange question, which I don't even understand the question that I asked. But they were saying there are big in energetic shifts happening vibrationally and in frequency, which are at the same time creating changes that are happening okay and I said to the emissaries this question let's see if I can uh, if nothing else happened would change still occur right? and I don't really know what I meant by if nothing else happened like if if no more shifts happened or, or whatever if no no nobody else woke up I think that's what I was referring to if nobody else woke up would the shift still happen and they said to me, you're misunderstanding the process. Okay, they're always telling me I'm misunderstanding something. And they said this, the shift happens because change is occurring. And change happens because the shift is occurring. Okay, that's what, that was their words. And I said, well, don't understand that. So what are you saying? And they said, everything is inextricably linked together. One can't happen without the other. It's like a dance. You know, it's like the music, the dance and the dancer, I suppose. And the, the music and the melody. It's like the, the musician and the music. One can't happen without the other. The different and the same. So they were referring to the, the shift and the change that's happening are, are one and the same thing, okay? So I said to them, can you say it a different way? Because I don't really understand it. I'm not getting, I'm not grasping what you're talking about. And they said, they give me another vision, right? And they said, they showed me a road. And they said, there's a road that has been laid and planned. That road is fixed. It will never change. And this is the road that leads us to the next place, to whatever you want to call it, the golden age, the paradise, the um, beautiful, you know, beautiful time. That road is laid down. There is no diversion from that road. They said that is fate. That's fate. That road's never going to change. It's there. And they said, your destiny is where you choose to position yourself on that road. Okay. So in essence, what, what they're saying is that there is a path that we cannot escape. There's a route that we cannot escape. Equally, for us and for the baddies, there is no escaping this faded path, okay? But what we can, where we have the power, where we have the choice, is in where we choose our destiny to be, where we choose to put ourselves on that path. Where are we? Where are you on the path? Are you at the front, leading, putting the lights on the road, helping people, helping people along, um, 
encouraging people to keep on going, encouraging, pointing in the right direction, signaling? Or are you sat on the side of the road, just watching and observing? Yeah, waiting for somebody to save you. Lots of people are there at the moment, less now than before, less now, because lots of things have happened that are making people get into gear. But for a while, for probably about a good 12 months, many people were sitting on the side of the road waiting for the savior to come. Yeah. Or are you way back, way back down the road, not doing anything and you know feeling feeling as can you remember for those who from the uk dad's army and dad's army had this lovely characters i mean they were real each character had something very special you know captain mannerin stupid boy and um and then the scotsman which i can't remember his name but he was way, and his his catch line was we're all doomed, doomed, I tell you. And you always said that. Well, there are some people who on the path to whatever you want to call it, the road to righteousness, whatever you want to call it, they're the ones that are standing there telling us that we're all doomed. They're still standing on the side of the road, but they are really, they are the, um, um, you know, the cheerleaders are the ones that we should be cheerleaders. You know? Yeah come on without pom-poms like this yay go 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 goodies um and then you've got the um the non-cheerleaders and I, th I don't know what they would be called that the, the the people who just bring everybody down we're all doomed i had a conversation the other day with somebody who um who is catholic and we were talking about the Bible and Revelation and the prophecy and everything. And and he was, as I listened to him, I was going further and further down, down and down and down. And he uh, and I said to him, "Hey, but have you have you forgotten that Revelation has a happy ending? Has a happy ending? You know, Jesus is coming on his white stallion. He's going to save us all and and uh, and, and you know, all of that. You know, so that happy ending and that." And he went, "No." Oh, You've got to, we're going to be in the great tribulation. It's going to be this and that. And I was thinking, oh, for God's sake, lighten up. Lighten up. <laughs> because, like, let's just say, I, I, I believe that the great tribulation, just as an aside, I believe that the great tribulation is, I'm going to give it another name, the great healing. Okay. In fact, no. What we've got is this, great tribulation, great awakening, great healing. Okay, that's what I, uh, the, the steps that I see happening at the moment. The great tribulation is the suffering. And I've talked about this lots because this is what the emissaries have said, the people have got to suffer, otherwise they won't wake up. That's the point of the great tribulation. It's to make people wake up get them to suffer and that's where we are at the moment and every time that the push this you know that's where we are we're in it we're in it now it's happening now we don't need to wait we don't need to wait that's the great thing it's happening now it's been happening for a good while but it's never happened more so than it is now people are suffering and then they're going to wake up great awakening and then they are going to need a great healing. Now, there are lots of people talking about med beds and stuff like that. Um, we are going to have to help to heal these people. This is ever so important, the great healing, because for them to shift and to move up, they're going to have to drop the past. They're going to have to drop the past. Yeah. For them to drop the past, they've got to be healed of it. You can't drop your past until you heal of it, until you learn from it. So that's what our job is. Well, I'm saying our job. For many of us, that's what our job is. Our calling is to help people. Yeah. So now we know that we control our destiny. We don't control our fate because we're all in the same boat. We're all on the same road. It's just where do you choose to put yourself? What do you choose to do? How do you choose to 
enjoy this journey. It's a journey that we're on. It's a process. Are you going to enjoy it? Are you going to have fun? Are you going to help people? Are you going to spend your time um, looking for, for the good? Or are you going to look for the bad? Are you going to have a horrible time of it? You know, the journey is the same journey for everybody. But some people have a horrible time and some people have a great time and it's the same journey as the saying goes the guru did a 40-day fast and thoroughly enjoyed it for his religion for his god another man was made to starve for 40 days and died it all depends on how you view it it's the same road we can't go on another road we're in the same place we're all in this together so it's all a matter of how you view the road and the journey. There's a beautiful expression which says this. Don't try and carpet the entire world. Just put some slippers on. We can't change the road. But what we can do is we can make ourselves into a, a strong, safe, secure happy person and how do we do that well we put on the slippers of righteousness put on your slippers of righteousness and bounce along the road and it doesn't matter how bumpy the road gets if you've got a lovely pair of slippers on it doesn't matter it doesn't matter don't try and carpet the entire road too much work you can't do it not your job yeah so there you are. Have a lovely week and I'll see you on Friday. I love you all. Bye-bye.